Dear Mr. Render. Oh, wow. Have I got a mouthful for you. I'm trying to afford grace for you because I don't believe that you were probably ever taught any type of, I don't know, um, emotional intelligence where you learned how to read the room, quote unquote, uh, you know, where you could see that what you're doing is hurting people, where you can see that the way you're behaving is harmful to others. And perhaps because of that, you behave the way you do. But I have a few things I'd like to say. As someone who was so excited during my birthday month coming up in March to list the aftermath as the foundation that I wanted to raise money for for my birthday because I'm a single working mother who gets no child support and I don't have the extra money to just give. So I thought I'll sponsor the Aftermath Foundation for my birthday on Facebook and then they, they can receive that money. But I'm not gonna do that now because I'm so offended. <sighs> I don't get it. You know, I'm a never in. So maybe I just don't understand Scientology. Although I've been closely following all these second gens for a long time now and used to follow you, used to follow Claire and Mark and they've disappointed and disgusted me as well. I, I've i never been involved in Scientology, therefore I was never indoctrinated into that line of thinking. And I've also never in my life been so offended by anyone who claimed to work for a charitable foundation and yet their behavior was so lacking in charity. Like how you could come down on Aaron for things that first of all, had absolutely nothing to do with the success of your foundation. Had Aaron actually not gone public and told everybody what was going on? No one would have known, except for that loser weirdo girl who decided to cause drama. Why on earth your foundation couldn't look more deeply into that and see it for what it was is just beyond me. But as someone who's been the uh, victim of narcissistic bullying and smear campaigns, I'm very, very well acquainted with the behavior and the bullshit that follows it. Okay, sorry I'm three minutes into this and I'm already cussing, but you know what, I don't care. Because what you've done is so effed up. How dare you tell Miriam you're not gonna give her any answers unless she does this? What is that tit for tat? You know what? That is so disruptive, destructive, and disgusting. Like my God. I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. That'd be quid pro quo. But instead, what you did was essentially threaten her that you wouldn't give her any answers unless she did this for you. That goes beyond quid pro quo. That's just downright dirty. Those antics are just, that's BS and you know it. Okay? And to be so dismissive of her in, 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 by doing that, it, it's gross. It's gross. There's not another word for it, sir. I need you to understand. I live in Houston, Texas. I've never met you in my life and had the highest regard for you. But I don't anymore because now I've seen it. And your blog, honey, that ain't helping. Your blog ain't helping you at all. If anything, you are hindering yourself further. So if I were you, I'd get a PR rep because you need some damage control, my friend, big time. You and your whole freaking foundation that you yanked out from under Aaron. That's okay, because he's gonna start his own. And he's gonna get some of my tax income, whatever it is that I get back. He'll get some of that. <sighs> I was disgusted with your overall ugliness towards Mike. And when I found out what happened with Rosemary, 
and that you guys were trying to profit off of a video? Like who takes a video of what happened to someone and all of the emotional, mental, and physical distress that they experienced and tries to take it to a film festival? That is just down, I, I can't even. Now maybe you weren't directly involved with that, but Claire and Mark were. What do they say about it? That's embarrassing. And I'm sad for you. I would appreciate it if you would quit dragging Leah's name through the dirt by including her in everything that you're going through right now. First of all, she has a lawsuit going on. The last damn thing she needs is to be associated with any kind of whatever it is that you're involved with, insulting people and even being involved. She needs to be quiet and to just follow along and do whatever she needs to do. Leave her out of it. Lee is a grown ass woman and if she has an opinion, she can express it herself. She doesn't need you to speak for her. My God, there's a lot of us who believed in you and we supported you and the Aftermath Foundation and you're, you're losing all of my support. I'm disgusted. The best thing for you, sir, would be to set aside your immensely overinflated ego, your pride, and to actually say, I'm sorry. I let Miriam down. I let my friend Aaron down. And I've let people all over the world down with my embarrassing display of overconfidence in the way that I'm so prideful in only seeking to defend my own actions rather than stopping to put myself in the shoes of someone else and considering how I've made them feel and how I've made myself look to all the people out there. You don't know me and I'm really glad because I don't like to be associated with people who behave that way. I'm, I'm about the humble individuals who know how to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I owe everyone an apology. Please accept that. This is me being real and me being honest and me setting my pride aside. That's all you have to do. So we're waiting, Mike Render. Where's that apology?